Well, now that many school districts in Central Georgia are back in session, it is time to bring back our School of the Week series. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker highlights a school that goes the extra mile to benefit their students. She joins us live now from Peach County. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Erin. Yes, School of the Week is back and you know I'm so excited. And this one is going out to Hunt Elementary's music program. Now the students aren't able to use instruments right now and I was like, well, how is a teacher supposed to teach music without using instruments? But Mr. Courtney Jackson told me where there's a will, there's a way. One, two, ready, and stop. Hunt Elementary Thank students you. can't use the school's instruments because of COVID-19 safety guidelines, but John Carlos Vargas still looks forward to music class zip it, every day. Zip it, ready. It feels good. It is good to be on drums playing music. His Keep teacher, rolling. Courtney Jackson, found innovative ways to keep the music flowing. Even if we can't use, you know, the instruments that are here, we can still use a chair, we can still use the floor, we can still use our hands. So I'm kind of a teacher, if I don't have anything, if I didn't have none of these instruments, I would still be able to actually do music and have fun. My favorite part about it is drumming. Jackson uses apps and websites on his smart board to teach notes, make songs, and play videos for students to dance along to. And you can actually create songs on there and you can actually put your voice in there too and make an actual song in the software and download it for free. Even without instruments, Jackson says music uplifts his students. When you think about this time of COVID, we're thinking about scared, the kids are nervous, they're frightened, they're babies, you know what I mean? And the thing is, is we're, I'm giving them a little bit more excitement, like, oh my gosh, it's back almost like, Regular, you know what I mean? He's a good music teacher and he always turns off his lights because I like dark. Now Jackson says those rhythm sticks that you saw the students using are really easy to sanitize and he makes sure to wipe down the smart board after every use. Man, those first graders were having a blast, I tell you. Reporting live in Peach County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. It looked like it, Pepper, and what first grader loves the dark? That's something you don't hear from a child very often, but I love it. I love to see the creativity. Jackson says he's always on the lookout for free apps and websites to help engage his students. And it definitely